Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can get some disk space back um, within Ubuntu, especially if you've upgraded, because when you upgrade it actually takes some of your disk space away. So in a previous video, um, or a future video, depending on when you watch this, uh, I have upgraded from 1404 all the way up to uh, 2310. And that has had an effect on my disk usage. So if I look at my disk usage monitor you can see I've only got 8.4 gigabytes of my 22 left and the fact is um, I've, the only program I've actually installed other than the default um, Ubuntu is um, Chromium so most of that space being used is by uh, all these upgrades that have taken place so in this video I'm going to show you how to um, clean them up and how you can make more space back so we'll start off we'll open a terminal and we're going to run this command here, which is sudo du minus sh var cache apt archives. And this will tell you how much space is being used by um, apt uh, in the cache. So we've got 2.8 gigabytes cached. So what we can do is we can get some of that back. sudo apt get clean. And now you can see that's 504k. So if we go into our disk usage analyzer, you can say we've now got 11 gigabytes, 11 and a half gigabytes. Uh, the other thing that can happen when you um, upgrade is leaves old kernels behind. What we can do is run sudo apt get auto remove dash dash purge. Uh, so now what you want to do is you press yes to continue. You can see only 834 one kilobytes will be freed so uh, let's see how that's affect things now I've still got 11.4 gigabytes so we can now go into the app store so if you go into the new app center, you can go into this manage section and it gives you a list of all the installed applications. So if you search on size, largest to smallest, you can see what's taken up the most space and <laughs> LibreOffice has taken one gigabyte of space. Other than that, we've got Chromium 165 meg and not much else. You can also uh, show system files um, to see what else has taken up all the space. So the biggest usage is actually LibreOffice at uh, one gigabyte. Nothing else there is really taking up anything and I don't really want to get rid of anything else. One thing that may have happened um, during uh, all these upgrades is if you think I was on 1404 before, um, some of those packages might have been Debian packages and so you might have libraries lying around that you don't need anymore. So I can also run in a terminal sudo apt get auto remove and you can see uh, because I ran the previous one to do with the purge there's nothing else to remove but um, you can run that on your system and maybe there is stuff to remove and the other thing you can do is of course run updates As you see, I had a tiny little update to install. And now everything's up to date. So where does that leave us in the disk usage? Uh, 11.6 gig available out of our 22 total. So um, that means we're using 10.4 gigabytes. And let's have a look at memory usage. Interestingly, you can see I've got two files and two system monitors. Uh, my memory usage is 1.5 gigabytes, and the process is using up most of that memory. Here's GNOME Shell, GNOME System Monitor, which is what I'm running now. 
So GNOME Shell is using most of the CPU. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to show you a fresh install of Ubuntu 2310. Um, again, it's going to have Chromium installed because um, I used that as a benchmarking thing um, on a, another video. So we're going to shut this one down. We're going to open up a fresh Ubuntu 2310 to see what we have instead. So here we are, this is my fresh install of Ubuntu 2310 and the only extra application I installed and this was for benchmarking purposes was Chromium. Uh, so if we look at the disk usage analyzer, uh, you can see 14.8 out of 26.2, so that's 11.6 uh, gigabytes. So it's not much difference between an upgraded version and a fresh install uh, once you've done the cleaning. And if we look at the system monitor, you can see I've only got one of these now. Whereas you saw on my other one, I had two system monitors, two files, two htops, etc. Now, if we look at resources, uh, 1.2 gigabytes, uh, so it's less, and the memory usage GNOME shell is 253 meg. So uh, the fresh install has obviously um, got a lot less uh, resource usage, uh, not not considerably so, but um, this is why it's recommended when you do upgrades that, especially if you're going up more than one version, that it's easier to back up your stuff, reinstall. And you see I've got updates, uh, I'm going to install those now. And it says you need to restart to finish install the updates. I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is summarize what we've done here today. Um, so I've shown you how to get some valuable disk space back. And how you do that is, one, you clear the um, apt cache by running the clean um, command. You get rid of old kernels. Uh, you can uninstall applications that um, you aren't using. Uh, and you can update your system. And these these are the main ways to get your disk space back within Ubuntu. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.